Hey guys, Steven Reviews Products here. Today we're taking a look at the iHomeint LED lighting for TV. Um, so this, as it all falls out of the box. Um, let me go ahead and unbox some stuff here. We got a couple of small boxes inside. We get a FCC warning sticker. Some color tags, I'm not quite sure. Um, these might be calibration stickers. I want to actually open them so we can take a look. There we go. Okay, we get one, two, three, four red calibration stickers. I'm going to say they're calibration stickers. Not too sure. Okay, we get one nice instruction manual. We also have the main unit here. So here is the brain of the system. We have a DC in along with an LED header. This is just a standard USB. And then we have a cam USB header. Uh, there's no other buttons. There's a adhesive on the back here. Um, let's take a look in the big box. Power supply. So this is a standard power supply here. 12 volts, one and a half amps. Ooh, one of the IKEA style tape measures for whatever you might need. It's really just for measuring everything when you get it on the TV. All right, and here is the star of the show. So as you can see, these are pre-wired with some sort of bungee USB. Now it does. There's a warning label. The strip is to work. Please do stick. You know, for a strip light with USB port, please stick to the back of the TV on the right side to the left. So basically, it has a direction, right? So, as you can see, this is the LED itself. And these are what's considered a smart LED. Hold on. There we go. So it's a 12 volt D0, DN, and then ground. So basically, there's the signal wire that goes in and out goes all the way down the strip. Um, I would not cut these. If you need to make it shorter, just double it around because they are positioned to have a corner and then straight across the back and then another corner. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the TV in the room. I'm gonna get all this wired up and then I will switch over to the app that's designed for this system. Um, so it actually has a couple different functions but ideally, this is how you want to mount it. So if that's the back of the TV, you have the left, the top, and the right side. And you want to start in one direction and go all the way around. And basically, we're going to do this. So... Oh, there's a camera in here somewhere. Oh, little box. Okay, let's take a look at this. That's what I'm missing, the camera. Okay. So now, this might people might freak a bunch of people out oh there's a camera blah 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 there's no way to get this thing out to the internet i wouldn't worry it's uh it's just looking at your tv it's not actually looking at anything else there's a mount that slides on here so this basically sits over your tv and all it does is look at your screen and all it does is take that image and then replicate it on the back of the wall so let's get it hooked up and see how it looks I'm going to screen record this while I talk so we can get everything synced up here. Um, so I just went out to the App Store. It's on Android and iOS. It's called the iHomeint Light. And when it comes up, oh, look at the rainbow. It's so fancy. Uh, it's the screen cover I have on. So it's called iHomeNet Light. Here it is here. Um, and basically, once we get that hooked up, it'll say that there's lights nearby. So we'll go ahead and click on that. 
And then right now it shows that we're connected to the TV. I have the option to turn everything on, turn everything off. Um, actually, I'm going to spin. No, I'm going to wait on that. Um, so we'll focus on the app here. So I have the option for music. And this is all sound activated. Um, the option for video. And that's whatever's on the screen. It's just going to mirror. Or I can pick a color. So I have all kinds of colors of the rainbow. So let me actually turn the camera towards the TV so you guys can see what's going on. And I'm going to actually hit the lights as well. All right. So here we go. So there it is, lit up against the TV. So if I go into color mode, I can do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, teal, purple, and white. And now if I go into music, it's going to become sound reactive. So hello! Um, you can also pick different options. You can have energetic where it'll just do its own thing whenever you talk. It's very whoo! Uh, rhythm. Hello, hello, hello! Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it into movie mode. We're going to put some images up on the TV and see how this thing does. I'm really hoping it can keep up. I have a pretty fast motion video. So let me go ahead and flip the camera so you guys can see what the TV sees. And we will go from there. Guys, I got everything set up. Let's see how it does. Oh, that is awesome. If I can get it focused a little. Oh, there we go. You can see it really good now. So as you can see, it's a subtle background, right? That actually shows the light. Get a little better angle here. So as you can see, obviously... pretty awesome and it does actually a really nice job you can see it changing in real time pretty cool all right guys well thanks for watching and um make sure to like and subscribe